guys, welcome back to Genshi Plans. We are here for the June 2020 flip through. These are always some of my most popular videos, so I hope you're here to enjoy it. Uh, we're in our Filofax pocket size. This is a Malden in the color ochre and in no damage or anything. Um, it's still looking the same as ever, still loving it. Um, let's go ahead and as always start with the pockets. So I've got a little change in here because like I found some in various places. I finally cleared out my purses that have been sitting like full on my dresser since quarantine started. Um, and I put the miscellaneous change that I had in here, <laughs> even though we're not really paying for stuff with cash much. Major credit cards, major as in like the ones I use the most are in the front. Uh, usually my driver's license is in here, but I lost it. Um, and so I have my temporary one in the back here. I just got back from the DMV today. I can tell you if you're in California, getting your real ID is actually pretty painless. I was in and out in half an hour. Um, and yeah, not, not too bad at all. Uh, medical card, HSA card, library card, and like gift card, punch card, stuff like that. Wallety stuff in the front. The back here, um, these, I think I, last time I filmed this, I forgot what this was. This is notes for a game that I played with my brother. Um, and there's this one particularly complicated puzzle that we took notes on. And we want to play it again, like in the opposite roles. And so I don't want to get rid of these notes until we finish playing it again so we don't have to solve that puzzle again. Um, this little card I used to cut washi. It's just got, you know, washi on there. And then I also have these little page flags, which I haven't been using much lately. I've used a couple lately. Um, I actually have used a couple lately, so there you go. I'll take that back. These are some samplers from Planner Kate, which I had back here because I thought I might use them, but I should probably put them away. I've been keeping my stickers mostly just in my office drawer because I'm working from home right now still, so um, it's, you know, it's accessible if I need it. Uh, this is a Muji gel pen in 05 black. It's starting to run kind of low, so it might be time to get a refill. In the back, like I said, I have my temporary driver's license. I've got a little bit of cash. I actually did spend some of it. We went to the farmer's market the other day. Um, there are a couple of stickers back here as well. Um, Planner Kate and Twin 16. I like these little emoji ones. It's kind of nice to have those handy, but I should probably put like these. These are really more for like actual weekly planning. And currently, you'll see the weeklies I'm in right now are um, not really very decorative, but I do like having the little emoji stickers handy if something comes up. Um, and then I have a few blank checks in here. It's always important for me to keep some blank checks in here uh, because I have to do things like pay the babysitter. So these divider tabs, all these frosted divider tabs and this front cover page are from Marlene's Plan to Create on Etsy. And then this is the monthly from, I did a whole, you know, plan with me video. Uh, and I explained how I did the cover and the little stickers that match it and all of that. So everything's going fine so far, checking stuff off. Um, same here. There are a lot of things in here that like I needed to cross off or like I did everything except the actual physical thing, but I just had to run some errands today. Today is the day that I uh, head off to go to the doctor. And so I hit up the DMV, went and got a Father's Day gift for my husband. This is a monthly tracker from My Summer Touch and I gave up on it. I think I'm just gonna like not even think about it right now because I go in phases. Um, either I'm like definitely all about it or I'm really, really not. And I, I fell just right off the cliff of it being useful into it being stressful. So just gonna not think about it. Um, this is a list of things like projects around the house. This is kind of my like nesting list. Because I've been going around trying to like reorganize drawers and areas and stuff. I just put it in order on Amazon for like some organizing boxes. I can never get enough, you know, ba boxes and baskets and drawers and things I want to do underneath the bathroom uh, cabinet in our bathroom and stuff. Um, and so this is the same, like, I'm trying to pick one project per week to work on until I go on maternity leave. This is where I keep track of my bras that I wear and when they need to be washed. This is where I keep track of my one line a day journal. It's like a reminder to do it. Um, I often will do a couple days in a row as like a batch. 
I try not to get more than like three or four days behind because you start to forget what was going on and then the only thing that I have with a date on it in my planner is what we had for dinner and so that's what I journal about. Not great. <laughs> Someday maybe list. I, I pared that down and replaced it um, so I got rid of a couple things on there and moved some other things off. This is like a honeydew list. Um, so some things that are from either the Someday Maybe or the Waiting On list that are actually for specifically for Gino. So like I can actually, let me just put a dot here. I asked him to do this actually. And so now it's like on the deck, I guess. I don't know. Um, we did, we've made good progress on middle names. Godparents is still no idea. And some of these things are things that I'm kind of waiting for just when life returns to normal, it's not a big deal. It's not important. Um, then this next section is for my weeklies and dailies. That's my daughter. She's the, the most adorb of all dorbs. And so this is a, like a DIY weekly spread. And I thought that this was going to be something that made me really happy and productive. And it kind of turned out to not really be. It felt like what I really just needed instead was just a plain old rapid log. Um, check out my weekly plan with me from, was it last week, the week before, where I set this up for a few days. Uh, but the idea of this one was to have the work week on this side and then the weekend over here. So this is a weekend to-do list, but it's kind of too small. Everything felt really cramped on here. So I feel like I need at least more than this, you know. Um, I'm not sure if I need a full page per day every day. It's like, for example, here's Wednesday, Thursday on the same page. So having just the grid paper and the rapid logging really does help it kind of just feel I can use as much or as little as I need. Often though, I still do have just a weekend to-do list. This week is even simpler looking. Monday, Tuesday, and then this is my Wednesday. I wanted it to be a bit more structured because it was different. Like I said, I had appointments and errands to run. And so here I am uh, at this point in my day and this is working well. This is an undated daily from my summer touch. I love these. Um, it's got the time stuff here. And then these are like sort of like, these are things that are kind of appointments. It makes sense in my mind whether things are on the left or on the right. And then there's room here for stuff I need to remember to bring. And then we're going to go get donuts later. So those are the donuts I want to get. <laughs> then there's just extra grid paper. Next section is reference. So this is the sticky note index so that I remember what's in here books that are checked out from the library. They don't have due dates right now because the library is still closed. Um, my to watch list. This is to watch with my husband list. Gift ideas. Uh, and my personal wish list. And this is notes about um, the rewards visas that I have a couple of that I use for my Patreon payments. So I just want to make sure that they don't run out because there's no like direct deposit going to it or anything. Various inbox stuff. These are the projects I'm working on and the projects that I should be working on. Just for like, you know, craft stuff. This is the pattern on the baby blanket that I'm working on. I should probably show that to you sometime if I'm looking for a Sunday video topic. Maybe I'll do a knit with me. Um, and this is the row counter. So I'm this far in. We'll see. I'm getting like on a roll with it, so that's good. This is um, planning out the nursery layout. Basically, we're just going to add a toddler bed at some point, like probably after the baby comes. Um, whenever our older daughter is ready to move into a toddler bed, this is where it will fit. This is our garden layout. Some notes on some things for garden stuff. This is my just general garden to-do list. So if there's anything that needs to get done in the garden, I put it here. It probably could go on a normal to-do list with the rest of my stuff for the week, but just when I have some time spent in the garden doing like stuff other than just watering, uh, then that's what's here. These are some notes for the bridal shower that we're throwing for my brother and his fiance. 
And these are notes for the birthday party that we're throwing for our daughter who's turning two in two weeks. Two weeks from today when this is going out. Which is crazy. But I'm really excited for her because I think she's really into birthdays generally. Like she'll color pictures and give them to you and say happy birthday, which is super cute. Um, so we're going to be doing like a Zoom party with her friends. So we have some notes and stuff, list of invitation stuff. Sorry, this is all blurred out. Um, then there's also going to be like a little bit of a family get together because we have some family that really want to see her. And we're taking all of our risks now. And then we're going to clamp down on everything when I go on maternity leave. I explained all of that in my bump date last Sunday. This next section is pregnancy stuff. So I'm going to flip through it and blur out whatever you can't see. Um, this is my weeks, like how far along I am. So here I am at you know, this date here. I'm 27 weeks. I just entered my third trimester. Symptoms. I'm just keeping track of symptoms. It's nothing interesting. Don't worry. Um, these are my appointments. Again, no need to worry. <laughs> Questions from the doctor. Um, other notes taken at appointments, more questions for the doctor. Weight and blood pressure tracking, you can see this. Um, just, yeah, every Monday I've been keeping track of my weight and blood pressure because we haven't been going in for physical, like, in-person appointments as often. So we're just keeping track here and it doesn't hurt. Um, and then I've been tracking my weight on this one. Um, <laughs> I found something that told me like where it should be, um, like, max and min weight gain ideally which is just something as a, a goal for whatever reason I was gaining a lot and then I lost like a pound no two pounds over the course of a week I don't know but I think I'm fine it's still within the, the normal range and I'm not paying super amounts of attention to what I'm wearing so so this guy here is my uh, like New Year's resolution tracker so every month is on here and I'm making a goal for every month and so for June my goal is to drink water and then when I stopped tracking it on my other fold out my summer touch planner or tracker from earlier I missed a couple days of data but I'm picking it up again um I think I have to remember how much I drank yesterday I have to try to remember to track it it might not be even worth it for me to try to track it just as long as I drink more and maybe just journal about how I felt I did. I don't know. But there you go. Um, I'm just going to keep track of everything on this. This is from the my you know, from the Peanuts Planner Co. Undated Yearly Bundle. This <laughs> laugh. Please feel free to laugh because I also agree and I knew when I was writing it that this was ridiculous. I was thinking ahead to maternity leave. I have been thinking ahead to maternity leave. And I've been feeling a little bit kind of like, am I going to be able to do this? Because like I said, we're going to be shutting it down, not seeing anybody. It's just going to be me and my daughter. My husband's going to still have to go to work, but it's just going to be me and my daughter. And I'm going to be in the last, you know, eight months pregnant and she's going to be two years old. And I'm worried that we're going to run out of things to do. She's going to start, you know, tearing the house down if I can't find enough activities. So I'm like, let's just sort of sketch out what a typical day might look like. If we had a routine, what would it look like? And so this is what I came up with. It's super aspirational, off the cuff, not realistic. I'm just saying it's there. This is a little bit more realistic. This is just sort of a list of things I'd like to get done at some point during the day. At some point, we'll probably develop a bit of a routine, but it's temporary. As soon as the baby comes, one, all schedules go out the window, but two, my husband will be on paternity leave for several weeks, and so we'll be able to play zone defense as well. Uh, this is channel stuff, gunchy stuff, video planning, um, to-dos and brain dumps, more goals. Um, here, I'll show you what it looks like on the back here. Um, these are, yeah, I can like put a, a project on one of these and it doesn't take up like an entire page and then I like forget to look at it, but it's just little, little projects. And there's a lot of little things like that. Like when I did the collab video, um, for my, reg uh, yeah, my registry, 
Um, that was one of these boxes. And this is Profit and Loss for AdSense. Again, blurred out. Here is my future life section. This is from the Peanuts Pattern Co. Dated Yearly Bundle. And I've been crossing off all the stuff that got cancelled. Pretty much. Just to kind of see what it looks like. Um, some stuff is highlighted in yellow for my maternity leave. And then uh, this is my future future log. So everything on here happens in 2021 and here is any time after that. So I like to have a extended future log. A place to put something if it happens in the future. Just so I know that I'm not going to run out of space. These are birthdays and anniversaries. I've had this exact insert in here for like two years now. Recurring tasks, another Peanuts Planner Co. insert that I referenced this and everything else in this section once a month. Then this very last section is just some spare paper and I've been keeping more in here. I was down to almost nothing because I was like, well, I'm here in the office mostly doing my planning and I have it in the drawer here in the office. But then I found that I really just wanted to be able to grab a piece of paper from the back to do some planning in the living room or in the kitchen, in the bedroom, and I needed to have more. So I have some grid paper, some line paper, and some dailies back here. And that is it. I hope you found that interesting. Do comment below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, commiserations. And I will see you in the next video, so don't forget to subscribe. I post twice a week on Thursdays and Sundays, so I'll see you in the next one on Sunday. Bye!